Hey. Bagel. And right, the Cayman's grabbed it by the neck. Instant effect, thrashing around, just like somebody grabbing an electric cable. While fishing for bait and trying to free a snagged line, I'm startled by what I find, because I may have just stumbled across one of these deadly creatures. Here. Yeah. Big here. But it's a case of mistaken identity. It's actually not an electric eel, that is an eel. This is a musum. It may look like a true eel, but it is in fact another elongated fish. For a moment there, I was, I was worried. I saw this long snake-like thing on the line, and I wasn't hanging around to have a closer look. I was out of the water. If this was an electric eel this size, that could be potentially fatal. Strange sort of uh, admission to make. I'm actually glad that wasn't the fish that I was after. Even with a flashlight and a headlamp, I'm straining to see more than a few feet. I've no idea what might be lurking here, but to tempt something out of the shadows, I decide to dip a piece of meat into the water. Straight away, an eel emerges. This one isn't huge, but it is surprisingly bold. Despite living in pitch black, it has absolutely no fear of the light, or of me. It's on a single-minded search for flesh. Yet this carnivorous instinct doesn't, on its own, make the longfin a killer. I want to find out if they can get big enough and aggressive enough to be seriously dangerous to people. Could they ever be, in the words of Cook, devourers of men? An eel this size can deliver a shock of 650 volts. That's enough to stop my heart in seconds. First go, amazing, first go. <laughs> Electric eels can keep on shocking out of water, but the rubber gloves we're wearing protect us from this. Oh, look at the colors on this thing. These are wonderful, I've got to give it a clean. That is like, it's doing a sort of, it looks like a muscle contraction, spasm almost. That's when it's actually shocking. Because electric eels get most of their oxygen from breathing air, they can stay out of water for long periods of time. That's five foot ten and a half. That's pretty much exactly the same as, as me. This is exactly the same size as the eel that killed Francisco, the 21-year-old man who died in the tiny pond near Villanova. If I wasn't wearing these rubber gloves, I could be dead too. It's over 100 degrees, and I don't want the fish to overheat, so time it went back in the water. The pond may be shallow at the moment, but the rains are not far behind me. The waters will soon rise, giving this eel the freedom to roam once again. My search led me to this tiny drying out puddle. I mean, the water in there is barely six inches deep. It's the last place you'd expect to find a river monster, but that's where it was. Hello, I'm that's the mission in the water. Hello. There's more, oh, there's, more. there's more, there's more. It's not just this big one. There's Again, it looks like wood, but it started moving. We were, we were watching it, and it looks like there's actually several, but smaller, right in with these roots here. I've, I've just never seen anything like this before. It's like a tangle of bodies. I'm just trying to count the heads. The more I look, the more I see. I was thinking 10 or a dozen. I think there could be 20 down here. I struggle to get close. The eel writhes to get free. 
Finally, Pushy, the man who brought me here. I can see it, you can see it trembling, you can see it trembling. Holds a live electric eel in his bare hands. He's just holding that, he's holding it. I've seen what these fish are capable of. I'm not too comfortable being this close. He says it is shocking. This is the fish that is responsible for killing people. And according to others, actually burning their skin. But looking at uh, Bushy now, no sign of any burns. He's been holding this now for several minutes. I'm left with two possible conclusions. Either the Matisse have special powers, because they have this understanding that I don't completely follow, scientists don't completely follow. Or something else is responsible for the bizarre deaths. But this time, the Amazon isn't prepared to give up all her secrets just yet. And as long as there's mystery out here, I'll keep coming back. Doesn't mean to say, though, that I can't do this. Chris, are you OK? Are you responding? Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Right, we might need some first aid here.